I'm the youngest. Okay. So are you the rebel? Uh, Suzanne, so when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, oh, that's a good question. Um, well, I, I had always written, so but I wouldn't say that I wanted to be a writer. I actually, this sounds kind of funny, but I remember um, really liking the waitress at the local, at the restaurant that I went to with my family and thinking that I wanted to be a waitress, uh, which I did wow. for a while. Um, but yes. Yeah. After that, um, writing, definitely. When when did you come to realize you wanted to be a writer? Um, I think it's just always, I mean, it's always been something that I've done. Um, I have memories of keeping a journal, you know, from early on. Um, gosh, probably as young as, I think, like seven or eight, my mom always always used to make sure I had a journal around, and so she's really encouraging um, in that way. Hmm. What have your parents most wanted from you? Oh gosh, um, that's a good question. What have they most wanted from me? Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess to be happy, they, you know, they want me to be happy in life. Um, okay. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I don't know that, um, hmm. yeah, I mean, that's kind of a question. But I would say overall, yeah, that would be my answer. How about being married with children? Um, oh, you mean along those lines? Um, yes, definitely. I think I think that they would that they would like that. Although there um four four uh children and no one is yet married with children and so I think they're sort of, they're pretty quiet about it. But yeah, I mean occasionally I'll I get a hint um that they would that they would like grandchildren. Where are you in the birth order? Sorry, that was the... Um, uh, I'm the youngest. Okay. So are you the rebel? Um, I don't know. It's funny. I don't really think of myself like that, but um, I guess I remember hearing there was some research study that came out last year, a couple of years ago, and apparently the oldest child, um, oldest children have higher IQs, yeah, um, but the but the youngest tend to sort of um, end up doing different things because they I guess the theory is that they want to distinguish themselves, so they their goal is to be different than the people that you know siblings that came before them. Where are you in the? Or do you? I'm have the youngest. To... I'm totally. Oh, okay. the I'm a rebel, and I prefer oh. to date oldest children because they're responsible. Wait, you prefer what? I'm the youngest, and I prefer to date women who are the oldest because they tend to be uh, responsible and uh, disciplined, and like it's a good balance. I, I'm then the playful one, and they're the kind of responsible one, and it's a good balance. Okay. Because eldest children tend to like to date youngest children. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's funny. I'm dating. Uh, I'm dating an oldest child right now, so I guess there would. That would that sort of resonates. Have many of your boyfriends been eldest children? Um, nope. Nope, definitely not. Well, that's why it didn't work out then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we can just boil it down to that. Uh, where were you in the social pecking order in high school? Um, oh, that's a good question, too. It's, you know, it's really funny as I was just talking about this this morning. Um, I had a a boyfriend, actually, of my high school years that I spent a lot of time with, so I felt I was sort of on the periphery a little bit, um, but I was active in sports. I played field hockey, um, but then I also was pretty active in dance, and that wasn't part of the high school scene. I sort of danced um, in another town, and then 
I was involved in student government, um, which was fun. So you, you sound like you were popular. Out of my, what? Sounds like you were popular. I don't know. I don't know that I would say that, but I liked, um, you know what's so funny? Are you on Facebook? Yeah. Have you found, have a bunch of your high school friends now found you on Facebook? Um, no one from high school has found me on Facebook, but several found me on MySpace. Oh, okay. Hmm, I wonder, maybe MySpace is just more popular. Where, where did you grow up? Uh, I was in Australia till I was 11, and then I went to high school in the Sacramento area. Hmm. Okay. Um, um. So, I'm 42, so it's maybe a little older crowd through MySpace. But really, I think only one or two have sought me out through MySpace. It more often happens just email when I'm on TV or something. Oh, okay. Um. So anyway, I was asking you. I, if I, I mean, I liked. I guess I liked high school. Pretty good. Um, I would. I don't. I wouldn't go back, but it was. It was fine. Right. And where did you go undergrad? Um, I went to George Washington. Is that in St. Louis? No, um, that's Wash U. I went. Uh, GW is in is in Washington D.C. And I was there for um, three years, and then I actually dropped out for two years, thinking that I would go elsewhere, and then I ended up back in D.C., finishing there. So. And you majored in? Um, in philosophy. Oh. So why did you get the MFA, and how did it affect your writing? Um... That's a good question. I, I guess I felt like, so I had mentioned before, writing was something that was always sort of in the back of my mind. And um, I felt like what I was I wasn't, but I wasn't working in a creative field at all. I was working for various nonprofits and, um, in the Boston area. And I wasn't, I just wasn't feeling like I was doing what I wanted to be doing. So I was writing on my own. Um, but I did more discipline, and I wanted more, more just time, really. I mean, I didn't, I felt like being um, in that sort of community would, would be great, like, so that I could be around other people who were also writing a lot. Um, and it was really good. It was really good in that sense. Um, and then what was the other part of the question? Did how did it affect your writing? Oh, how did it affect my writing? Um, yeah, that's a good question. It's really interesting because I don't, I don't know. I mean, before I went, a lot of people said to me, "Well, either you can write or you can't." What you know, that's sort of, you know, what are, what do you expect? But I, I kind of just, I really wanted the time, um, and it was great for that. It was really great to be able to just kind of dive in and. It also, I also explored a lot more than I may have done on my own um, because the program was very encouraging of that, you know, that it's sort of a time to not, not you know, they encourage us not to figure out what book you're going to write now, but just to sort of, you know, experiment and play with things like voice. And um, so it was great in that sense, but in the... Yeah, so I guess I got a lot of good practice there. I guess I would say that that's, that's sort of the best way. But by the time I finished the program, which I, which I absolutely loved, I also kind of felt like, oh, gosh, I don't know if I ever want to be in another writing workshop again. Um, just because it, gets, it, it was kind of tiring, and I, I also felt like I wanted to sort of isolate myself in terms of my writing and just write my own um, sort of take all that I had learned and try to use that as a starting point. Why did you go the nonfiction route with your first book? Um, oh, that's a good question, too. I guess... I guess because... 
mean, I couldn't, it's 